Welcome to the Traveling Toucan. Join us as we count down to the top 10 tourist and travel attractions of San Sebastian, Spain. San Sebastian is one of the most visited cities in Spain and famous for its beaches and world-renowned cuisine. It offers an exciting range of culinary experiences from pinxos to socos to cidrerias or more commonly known as cider houses, as well as Michelin-starred restaurants. In the 10th position is Castillo de la Mota. The Castillo de la Mota is one of the most famous constructions in San Sebastián in northern Spain. It is located at the top of Monte Urgol or Urgol Mountain, 130 meters above sea level. Explore the fantastic castle and learn about its importance as a solid fortress to defend the city. While you are visiting the castle, make sure you see the Monumento al Sagrado Corazón de Jesús, also known as Moda Christ. Coming in at number 9 is San Telmo Museo. One of the best museums in the Basque country, the San Telmo Museo has a thought-provoking collection that explores Basque history and culture in all its complexity. Exhibitions are spread between a restored convent dating back to the 16th century, and a cutting-edge newer wing that blends into its plant-lined backdrop of Mount Urgol. The collection ranges from historical artifacts to bold fusions of contemporary art. In the eighth spot is Andarita Beach. Andarita Beach's location, water, and array of activities make it the perfect place for families as well as those seeking adventure or simply a relaxing day, on the sand. Andarita Beach is shielded by Monte Igeldo and at the foot of Miramar Palace, at the heart of La Concha Bay. At the seventh spot is Sarayla Beach. Waves, surf and youngsters. These are the main features of the Zarayla Beach, San Sebastián's liveliest and vibiest stretch of sand. Located in the district of Gro, between the Corzal and Monte Iulia, ever since it was remodeled 15 years ago the Zarayla Beach has become a favorite with surfers and youngsters, who come from all over the world in search of fun and new acquaintances. Ranked 6th is Pain del Viento. El Pain del Viento or the Wind Comb is a collection of three steel sculptures each weighing over 9 tons. These pieces have been positioned in the place where the city ends and the sea begins, where the waves embrace the stark escarpments of Monte Igeldo. At the fifth spot is Cristina and Mia Parquia. Created by the Duke of Mandas in honor of his wife, the Parque de Cristina and Mia is a favorite escape for locals. This formal park, the most attractive in the city, contains ornamental plants, ducks and peacocks, and open lawns. Its wooded paths make for a scenic stroll, past towering red sequoias and a magnificent Lebanese cedar. In the fourth position is Paseo Nuevo. Paseo Nuevo is a wonderful promenade which surrounds Urgel Mount in its entirety. With the aquarium as starting point, it goes all around the Urgel to end at the old town, beside the Corzal. It is one of the most beautiful and quiet avenues in the city. Coming in at number three is Part Vieja. Tapas and Pinxo bars line the narrow streets of Dinastia San Sebastian's Old Town, a lively neighborhood bounded by Mount Urgol, the Urumia River, and Concha Bay. Its heart is the Plaza de la Constitution, a former bullring where the Tamborada Drum Festival is held. The 16th-century Gothic San Vicente Church features a Romanesque altarpiece, while stalls with fresh produce fill the traditional La Brexa market. In second spot is Monte Urgol. Monte Urgol is located at one end of La Concha Bay, watching over the city's old quarter. It is one of the three major lungs of the city, a natural area that will envelop you in an atmosphere of calm, with tarmac walkways flanked by exotic vegetation which lead to lookout spots with picture-perfect panoramic views of San Sebastián. And finally in the first spot is La Concha Beach. La Concha is a beach packed with history and anecdotes. Isabel II made La Concha Beach fashionable in 1845, after her doctors recommended bathing in the sea as a remedy for her skin problems. In her wake, together with the new fashion of going to the beach, came the rest of the court and the high society aristocrats who gave its origin to the San Sebastian of elegant and distinguished renown. The rest followed suit, the nickname of Pearl of the Cantabrian Sea, the tourists and acknowledgement as one of the world's most beautiful city beaches.
That's all we have for the top 10 attractions of Saint Sebastian, Spain. If you are headed to Saint Sebastian for a holiday, we wish you a safe and enjoyable journey from the folks here the traveling toucan. Do like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more of your top 10 travel destinations, and check out our other videos which might be of interest to you.